I'm Winter Adams from the Pink Puck here at the Greyhound Pub, a local gem in Worcester. And everybody knows that alcohol, drinking, it goes with hockey. It's kind of part of the lifestyle. We're here with Sean, bartender. He's going to show us a few drinks that you can make at home if you're hosting a hockey party or just hanging out with friends. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. So what are you going to be teaching us today? Uh, we're going to teach you how to properly pour a pint of Guinness, both from the tap and from a can. And then we have a signature shot that we pour here at the Greyhound. It's called the Tricolor. It's pretty cool. We'll see that later. And then we also have a drink called the Greyhound because, you know, the bar is called the Greyhound. And we'll get around to that. And our favorite thing about that, it's pink. <laughs> All right, so what are we going to do first? What do you want to do first? Whatever you want to do. Probably start off with the Guinness. It's the easiest. All right. So what are some tips to kind of pouring the perfect Guinness the, uh, so the Guinness, it's a two-stage pour. You pour, you fill the glass up about three-quarters of the way, and then you let it sit. Uh, the actual time it's supposed to sit is 119 and a half seconds. They get pretty specific about it, but you know, anywhere around that's okay. You just want to let it settle out so you get a nice head at the top. So it's like this. You don't let the nozzle touch the uh, glass. And now if people, obviously, everyone's a big fan of Guinness, at the bar, what happens if they don't have a tap at home, like most of us don't, even though we would all like one? <laughs> you can pour it from a can, and we'll show you how to do that after this one. All right. So now do you count the 119 no, and a half no, seconds? No, never. <laughs> you kind of wing it? Exactly. I mean, if the bar is full, usually I'll take another order or two and then come back to it. And if it's not full, you know. Kind of guesstimate a shift in hockey, shift and a half. Exactly. And then you know you're ready to go. So now you top it off, and what you want to do is you push the tap back instead of pulling it forward. It comes out slower, and then you want to fill it up to just above the rim. It's perfect. Can we show everyone here? Absolutely. You ready? Beautiful Guinness. Can we give it a taste? Yeah. Perfect. So now we have our imaginary hockey fan customer <laughs> here. How do we uh, give this to them? You just want to make sure the label's facing outwards toward the customer. I want to show everybody that Guinness is the drink to drink. So out of a can, it's a little different. Um, you know, you pop the top and then glass at a 45 degree angle again. And you pour, and you kind of want to get a happy medium between, you know, not pouring too slow and not pouring too fast. If you pour too slow, you won't get any head. If you pour too fast, you get too much. So the main difference here is it's, you know, a straight shot. Everything in the can goes into the glass, then you set it down and wait for it to settle. So you still wait the 119 and a you half seconds? You can wait seconds. however long as you want. Doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. And then this is actually uh, it's a different type of Guinness. I was going to say it's, it's a red different color. Stout. Yeah. So it's, um, it's lighter, tastes different. Now can people, now I don't know if you know the answer to this, can you get the regular Guinness in a can? Yes. Okay. Yes. You can get it in a can, so you can, you can get, get it in a bottle. Okay. Perfect. Now I heard a fun fact. And now you have to give me the right statistics here okay. about Guinness and the Greyhound Pub. What and how in relation to Worcester? Okay, so uh, in Worcester County, we actually move the most Guinness draft per square foot out of anywhere in Worcester County. So, so Irish big seller, pub, exactly. Guinness. They go hand in hand. This is the go-to place in Worcester for Guinness, everybody. So the next drink we're doing is called the Tricolor. It uh takes a little bit of time to pour, but once it does, it looks like an Irish flag in a shot glass. So what we're going to do here is it's creme de mint, Baileys, and Grand Marnier, and you layer them in a shot glass in that order. So I'll show you how to do that now. And this is definitely something people can make at home, and it would be a fun kind of Absolutely. addition to any party, and especially during St. Patrick's Day. I'm sure you guys do good, good business with these, right? Yeah. They, uh, they take a little bit of time to pour, but if you have the patience, it's worth it. So basically what I'm going to do here is you take the spoon. You can use any spoon. You know, this is a spoon we have at the bar. It's got a flat head, so it makes it a little bit easier to do. But you just kind of want to pour the, uh, the second drink onto the spoon so it trickles down and forms a nice layer on top. You have to forgive my shaky hands. And now the alcohol doesn't mix, right? No, it doesn't. So they have different densities. And so the Baileys will sit on top of the creme de mint, and then the Grand Marnier will sit on top of the Baileys, if you do it right. If you do it right. Practice plenty at home. You know, if you mess it up, drink it and try again. Exactly. Drink responsibly. <laughs> 
So usually with this, the Baileys likes to sit on top of the creme de mint, but the, uh, the Grand Marnier is a little tricky. What makes it trickier? Uh, yeah. Their densities are probably closer together, so they mix easier. This is pretty cool, actually. So that's it. So that is the signature Greyhound Pub shot. Just go. Yeah. Are we sure it tastes good? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> it's actually really good, but very, you get like the mint right at the end. Yeah, it finishes nice. Hmm. The other thing about that is there's not, you know, there's not too much alcohol in it. Everything's pretty much... <laughs> Speak for yourself. I don't know. It <laughs> tastes a little bit alcohol to me. What do you if mean? you're having a party, guys, girls, I think, nice yeah, combination. Absolutely. This, I feel like this would be good for both the ladies and the gentlemen. Exactly. Guys usually hit the Guinness. Yep. And what would be a good drink maybe for our female? For the... Uh, the ladies, we have a drink called the Greyhound. So that is a shot of vodka, which we'll grab. So here we have Beru. It's a uh, vodka distilled in Ireland. It's just a shot of that. And then pink grapefruit juice, just fill. So this is a pretty easy drink kind of exactly. for anyone. Good for hockey games, good for girls' night. You want to make sure you stir it because the juice isn't carbonated, so you want to mix it up. Otherwise, your first sip will be completely alcohol. Now, could you mix any seltzer with this if people wanted it a little less strong? Or what Absolutely. Would you, I mean, is that so if you wanted it a little less strong, you could uh, put it in a bigger glass, same amount of alcohol, more mixer, or if you wanted to you know, carbonate it, you could absolutely leave a little bit at the top and then a splash of soda. A splash of soda, all right. Mix it up. I'm gonna give this one a little taste. Pink, it's our favorite color. That's good, nice and light. Now this would be a good summer drink year round, anything? Absolutely. All right, perfect. So Sean, thank you so much. Had a blast, drinking, hockey, lifestyle. Definitely come down to the Greyhound Pub. They have the largest selection of whiskey in the county, 75 different brands, yeah? Yep. Is that correct, 75? Exactly. 75, awesome drinks. Definitely order, say hello, hockey fans, hockey people. Friend them on Facebook, Greyhound Pub, and it's thegreyhoundwister.com. Thanks so much. Anytime.